Welcome back to the J Trey Way. We got more to react to because D23, the big Disney Plus day, was yesterday. It was a little lackluster on the announcements. Everything that was revealed, we got to see Charlie Cox, Daredevil on stage, uh, Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin. They had all the actors come out, but there was no big new news, um, which was, I'm not mad about it, but I think Marvel really needs something to distract us from all the criticism they're getting. People are really starting to critique them for their comedy and some of their most recent projects have not really stuck the landing. No Fantastic Four casting, no X-Men casting, which I can't believe we still don't have Fantastic Four, but we did get trailers finally officially online that I can watch with you guys. The big one I'm excited to see, which should have a lot of repercussions and it better put the MCU timeline back in order because all these shows right now, Miss Marvel, She-Hulk, they're fun, but they just feel like little side one-off adventures. Even Moon Knight, as much as I love that, nothing there's no connective tissue right now and they're like the pioneers of that they created this idea of sharing universes and now that they have all the means to do it with tv they haven't really been utilizing it right but secret invasion is what we're about to react to it's going to be the show about the scrolls pretty much uh taking over um creeping into our society into our world it's supposed to be like a spy type of feel and Nick Fury is leading it Samuel Jackson it's the Samuel Jackson show he's finally getting his own project and we haven't seen him since Far From Home. The last time we saw him, he's in a spaceship and the Nick Fury we thought we knew that was talking to Peter Parker was a scrawl. Very anxiously excited for this one. I really hope it's something good. It's not just Samuel Jackson getting a paycheck. I hope it's actually furthering the timeline of the MCU. That's all I want. I want us to get things back on course. We are about to find out as we watch the Disney Plus series, Secret Invasion, first trailer now. that shot very extraterrestrial type of shot for years there he is though you've been avoiding earth but i have called for your help plenty of other times and you've been pretty content to let those calls go straight to voicemail oh, agent hill yeah well this is different he looks worse than ever what happened up there how much do you know about your security detail what do you mean, how much do I know about him? War Machine. I heard he was in this trailer. Martin Freeman? Fury? We don't know. Or Martin be Short? Very careful now. There's the main scrawl from Captain Marvel. You're in no shape for this fight that lies before us. Another great actress. This is just the beginning. This is Amelia Clark. War. Alone. And I'm the last person standing between them and what they really want. And what is that? Got a little cleaned up for that final shot. Twenty twenty three. I'm not overly excited, but I'm intrigued as fuck. I mean, we had a lot of returning casts from other movies. Don Cheadle, War Machine, looks like he's a big part of the show. Maybe it's just one episode that they were showing him in, but it's very creepy. I mean, there's a creepy factor to it, but it also has this. 90s television vibe it all it has this really strong x-files type of feel with the way they're shooting it and even i don't know just the vibes of it in general and we had maria hill agent hill which she kind of figured she'd be in there she's fury's right hand but it's just always refreshing seeing them especially 10 12 years into the saga now they're still they're still connected and they're still trying to figure this stuff out but we're trying to figure it out i want to know what the real plot is what's actually going on this show looks like it's going to really pull on, pull some strings and probably frustrate the audience because it's going to be a waiting game, kind of how Moon Knight was where you had to wait to get answers throughout the episodes and WandaVision. I'm sure Secret Invasion is going to be similar. There's a few new characters in there. We got Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones, which I want to see her utilize more. She's amazing in everything I've seen her in. And I heard she was casting this a long time ago. This has been something, they announced this like 2019 and 
after getting Falcon and Winter Soldier and Moon Knight, which when we got that first slate of everything, I mean, we're already eight shows in now in just two years, but when we got those first slate, this is one of the first announcements. Of all the stuff we have upcoming, I would say this is right behind Daredevil is my most excited show of all the announcements we have. I mean, there's some good ones in there. This one better have strong ramifications on the entire universe. We just need answers on what Fury's been doing and if his timeline's really confusing to really try to think back on because he's popped up so many times, faked his death in Winter Soldier, was hiding out in Age of Ultron. Um, he's just been all over the place and he was in space. So comes back with some crazy information. I'm wondering what he saw up there. They're making him look really aged uh, with the gray in his beard. And yeah, some shit went down, and I love the vibes of it. It's, I was expecting a Winter Soldier type of feel, but it's definitely more type of straight to TV type of feel, um, which can be good. Uh, Marvel really knows, they're self, they make these shows very self-aware. It seems a lot smaller than I was expecting, though. I thought it was gonna be this wide scoping show, maybe going into space. We probably will get some scenes there, but it seems very isolated, very paranoia thriller where we're just following a few characters real close um, and, and it's suspicious, you know, you're just wondering who's who, which is how it should be with the scrolls. So it should be a good pre-course for Secret Wars. I mean, we have Kang Dynasty, the next Avengers movie, and then Secret Wars, but this is supposed to really connect to Secret Wars. They're kind of one and the same in the real story runs they did in the comics. So this is gonna build up to stuff that pays off in Secret Wars, I'm sure which is crazy to think about right now. It's years down the line, three or four years. Let me know if you guys are excited to tune into this one uh, and what's your most anticipated MCU project is coming out, shows or movies. I would say show-wise, mine's still Daredevil Born Again. I just, I'm really anxious to see him in She-Hulk, uh, maybe this week in the new episode. I hope they don't MCU-ify him too much with the humor because I did not like how they handled Kingpin and Hawkeye. That is all for this one. It's the Jay Shreway, and I'll see you guys next time.